Hi all, Planetside Agent here. Uh, today I'm going to uh, talk about a little cook system I put together for uh, making uh, my coffee on my kayak when I'm out on the river or lake or whatever. But uh, anyway, I'll uh, give you a quick uh, background first of why I'm going to do this. Uh, way back when I, well I still do, uh, when I was canoeing uh, one trip it was in the spring and the skiers were rather bothersome so uh, one morning we said shoot let's just paddle out to the lake down the middle of the lake where there's uh, uh, no mosquitoes it was a calm day and uh, so I did have a piece of plywood that I put between the thwarts and we paddled out into the lake and uh, actually uh, used my old uh, bluette uh, can you see that s100 stove set that on there put my tea kettle on and uh, we made tea and I think I toasted up some bagels and just had a lovely time floating on the lake uh, mosquito free so I've always kind of enjoyed doing that uh, of course with a canoe it's got a lot more room to work with uh, probably a little bit stabler especially you know when you're setting the stove like this on the uh, on the plywood between the thwarts and it's, it's not gonna you know the, the the pot isn't gonna slide off necessarily that that quickly so but when you get to a kayak, <laughs> a little less stable and uh, a few more problems. And, but I was out, you know, paddling in the morning. Usually I just make my coffee before I went out. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to make it out on the, out on the water. So I started putting that thought to it. And uh, well, where to start? Let's start here. Uh, one nice thing about my kayak, it's a... Uh, let's see, center this in the viewfinder uh it's a uh, uh wilderness systems pongo 120 which is a 12 foot one and one of the selling features for it for me was that you came with this console and you can see the console that uh just a side note it has a waterproof hatch up here where i can put my phone and mini binocs and that kind of stuff in and then it has two cup holders which was really great and then it has this little pocket i usually put my sandwich in there in fact after this video, I have an action one where I actually uh, set the system up and actually make my coffee on the water. And that'll be coming at the end of the video. So, anyway, so I got to thinking, you know, well, how could I, you know, how could I make coffee on the, on the, on the water, you know, uh, being, I don't have the, the level thwart and I have this. And I thought, well, you know, the little, the little canisters, like this, uh, MSR fuel canister, which is the uh, 3.9 ounces uh, canister, it probably would fit right in there. And sure enough, it, it would. And with a small stove, it has a low profile. And uh, I thought, yeah, you know, could do it because the things, you know, I'd have to use uh, propane. I, I couldn't use alcohol or gas because uh, it'd be a little risky on a, you know, with a plastic boat and uh, plastic. In, you know, in, a, in a, uh, a wobbly environment like on the water. So I thought this would be the safest, it'd be, it would be doable. But the only thing is with this type of stove is that although it's pretty stable, um, I could probably get away with it. I just thought, well, you know, it's kind of risky, you know, especially if there's a little wake or something comes by, you know, jostling around. I, I really don't want this tipping off into my lap. <laughs> That would be the worst part. Otherwise, it'd just spill over, which wouldn't be a big deal. But anyway, so I thought this would work, except there's no way to secure it. But then I'm uh, familiar with the uh, the uh, jet boil, where the pot is actually part of the... Uh, it attaches to the burner unit, so it's a stable unit. So I thought that would probably work. And I thought about doing that, but, you know, uh, if you ever looked into it, these jet boils, they're not cheap. But... Uh, Anyway, uh, I happened to be online, and I noticed that REI had them on sale, and I still had REI rebate and didn't know what to spend it on because after the decades of doing everything, I've pretty much got all the gear I need. So oftentimes I, I just buy novelties or odds and ends with my rebate. So I decided to uh, get this out of the way for a minute. So I decided uh, I'll go ahead and get the jet boil. I think it was $83, and then I think I had another 60 or more on my REI rebate. So I decided to uh, go for the uh, jet boil flash. 
I got that in the view. Yep. And uh, and I was sure it would work in this system, and sure enough, it will work. Uh, just a quick. This is the kit I used actually yesterday to test this out. In fact, actually before I actually did anything, I just set this up in the backyard and set everything up and uh, fired it off just to make sure, you know, and then I rocked it a little bit to make sure it was going to work before I actually went out, you know, out on the water. I made sure I had the, the system down, how I was going to set it up and use it and yada yada. So uh, before I went out and then I did go out and it worked, but I just carried it, made a little kit. I got the jet boil and I'll show you what's in there. I got a rag. Throw this over my uh, lap so I don't spill slop hot water onto my legs. And then I got a uh, medicine bottle with uh, some ground French press coffee. And I got to put it back in, but I have a, a little spoon that I can use to stir the coffee before I uh, start the press action. So just get this out of the way. So anyway, I don't know if you guys have seen the jet boil or not. Uh, there's, you can probably, there's a hundred videos on it. You can go take a look at those too. It might be more informative than mine. But anyway, so uh, nice thing about the jet boil, most everything fits inside the burner and the, and the canister. So I got the MSR canister, the same as the other one, the three and a half ounce. And then I have this little piece of foam I have for two reasons. One, you know, you put the, uh, the stove unit upside down and then this fits on top. Well, there is some protection, but I figured I'll just throw this in here and that kind of cushions it and helps cut the rattle down. And I have this little towel in there that I also wrap around the tank to keep some of the rattling down and just handy to have. And this, this stuff always nothing. Besides, I'm not overly concerned about weight on the kayak as I would be backpacking or hiking or such. So anyway, what's really nice is you got uh, the stove, the burner unit slides right inside. Uh, here's the tank support, pot support you can use, but it obviously you're not going to use it on the kayak. I don't need that. I can just set that aside. Another nice thing about having the bag is I can put the stuff I don't need inside of it and it doesn't roll around inside the, the boat and, or roll off worse and get caught. So anyway, so, you know, like that. And you got this cover here. Oops. Let's go ahead and we'll set this up. Can you see this? I'm hoping I'm staying in frame. Come on. fits on here and uh, it's a nice little system then you got at the bottom which you have a cup and uh, actually I bring spare matches this has uh, one of those Petzl uh, automatic lighters but I've had these things fail on other on other stoves and lighters and that sort of thing so you know it doesn't hurt to have some backup matches of course I got matches and lighters all over the place anyway but I just throw it in here as part of the kit. I got some room underneath the store, so why not? I got the little cup here. I guess if I wanted, instead of the sandwich, what I normally bring, I guess I could bring oatmeal and use some of the boiled water and just have my oatmeal right out of here, too, if I wanted to. I may do that one of these days, but currently I'm not. Okay, yeah, like I say, one of the the main reason I went with the jet boil, even though they're, they're spending, although I did see... Uh, Walmart, I think, has a brand, Lido, something like that. I'll, I'll see if I can find some information on it. Uh, that looks like a pretty much a knockoff of the jet boil. And I haven't checked the price. Being Walmart, it's probably going to be cheaper than, than this thing. Uh, anyway, back to <laughs> drifting off subject. What it has, there's, a, there's a, two little bumps, nibs here. You can see that. Okay, and then it's got uh, two little slots here on either side and those you fit those in the knot and you turn it sideways and now you've got a secure unit so um, so I don't have to worry about the boat rocking and, and spilling my uh, hot water off the boat or onto me so that was the main reason I went with this system one of the uh, drawbacks of this system 
is this big? <laughs> Way bigger than necessary. You look at the kit that I have my uh, this stove in, this setup. This is a 750 milliliter titanium pot. I mean, you're, you're talking much smaller unit, comp compact. But they do make a smaller one. I think it's called the mini mo or the micro mo or something, which would be ideal. But that thing's like 140 bucks. So I figure, you know, I'd rather <laughs> have this a little bit bigger for 83. So anyway, side note, and it does work. Uh, let's see, get back on subject. But like I said, it's it's a tall pot. It's kind of interesting in here. This is the two cup line down, way down here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's it's way down here, about halfway up the, the pot, which, and they say don't fill over this, but I imagine you could fudge it and go a little bit higher. But I think one of the reasons they don't want you to overfill it is when this thing goes, the boil, I mean, it's it's a it's beyond a rolling boil. It's a vigorous boil. So it's slopping and splashing around. So I think they kind of made this pot a little bit taller. Well, one to fit everything in it. And also they put the line there to keep it from spilling over and splashing you. But anyway, so, uh, so this all works very well. Let me set this up. That's what it looks like. I say this console just snaps on the front of the boat and then it's got these, uh, bungee cords go all the way around the gunnel and secures it in there so so on the boat I'm sitting here see so this will sit in here actually that little foam piece that I showed you earlier I throw that in here just to give a little bit more traction so that when I'm monkeying around with this it it, it it's not the steel on plastic which is a little gives a little more stability so there you go. And then you can, well, what you have to do is you're not supposed to fire it off on the uh, boat, but you, you know, you can fire it off and then uh, put this on, lock it in. And now when you're boiling your water, if the boat's rocking, it's, it's pretty stable. You're, it's not going to go anywhere. So, and um, I did use it. It worked great. And like I said, you can see that at the end of the, end of this video. So. Let's see, and then I got my uh, French press insulated mug. So originally I thought I could set it right next to it, but nope, that's not gonna work, but it does fit nicely right here in this little side slot, very secure. Then I usually put the rest of the French press over here just to secure everything. You know, when you're at sea, everything has to be secured, tied down or battened down, so. <laughs> and then, otherwise, it'll go in the drink and you'll never see it again, so. Anyway, yep, and it, uh, yeah, it worked great. Now you're probably saying, asking, hey dude, Jetboil makes a French press that you can actually, you know, has the, the little strainer, the, the French press hole goes inside and you can actually French press your coffee in here and that would save you the, you know, the danger of pouring your hot water into the cup which actually didn't worked out really well in real life. I don't think I showed that on the video because I don't have a tripod on the boat and I only have two hands, so there's no way I was gonna hold the camera and try to pour water <laughs> in this. But uh, anyway, it did, it's got the little pour lip here on the lid. And uh, yeah, it came off real easy and uh, poured it and then I could stick it back on and it was secure so I didn't have to worry about you know and that's the other thing too is uh, when you're on a boat on the boat in tight quarters like that the other reason for having this is not only that awake but you know just being a klutz you might you know accidentally tap it and psh, there it goes so this is you know nice secure unit so for this it really works if you don't have a boat with a cup holder in the front then I don't know I guess you get a little piece of wood and, and make a uh, make a little deck for the front of your kayak maybe put some supports on either side so it doesn't just jiggle off and that would probably work if you're wanting to make coffee or cook on the on the water <laughs> i mean you could always go to shore and do all this but you know it's just fun to be out especially like say you're in a mosquito area where you can get out out in the middle of the water where there's no mosquitoes or black flies or whatever then you this would be a good good system so oh back to the coffee <laughs> I got sidetracked. Um, so, you know, why don't you just 
get the uh, the coffee set up and make your coffee there and save a step because this this uh, the outside of this does have a foam or a rubberized uh, cover on it so it is insulated so you can hold it when it's hot and it's got the lid you can drink out of it but the only reason I didn't do that and uh, I'm a little leery to do that in any pot I don't know if you've ever had the problem but uh, oftentimes steel pots or met metallic pots will will hold that coffee flavor and it's almost impossible to get out so you know the coffee would be fine but your uh, next <laughs> your, if you cook a meal in it or you just boil water for tea your tea is going to taste like coffee or if you cook you know hot dogs in here and then later make coffee in it you know your coffee could taste of hot dogs so <laughs> try <laughs> so that probably could happen anyway, but so that's why I haven't done that. I haven't really played with it to see if it will retain uh, flavors. Uh, maybe I should if it does. Maybe I'll, I'll risk it and uh, see if there's some way I can clean the coffee taste out of it. If that's the case, then I'll just go, I'll buy the French press piece and then I won't have to to uh, change this over. So or I want to take this along, which would be nice. One less piece I'd have to carry, one less process, just dump the coffee in there after the after it comes to a boil and yeah by the way you could probably go out and watch different videos on this this thing does it burns fast I mean it boils quickly very fast I was surprised I just kind of got started and next thing you know it's boiling away <laughs> so it is quick not not to me it's not the quickness isn't that important but the main reason I got it was this the stability part of it that's that's the main reason I went with this and the other reason I have it, it wasn't on sale, and I didn't have the rebate from REI, then I wouldn't have got it, and I wouldn't have made coffee on the uh, on the water. I would have just brought it out pre-made from home like I always do. Or when I'm out camping, I'll make it to camp and then take it out and paddle out into the lake and have my coffee. So I bring this uh, camping. So anyway, so that's why I got it. It's kind of fun. Uh, I guess you could say I do have a bit of a, a stove problem. I've got, if you look around just here, there's three of my stoves right here. If you see my other videos, I got a lot of stoves and I even started scratch the surface of all the stoves I have. I kind of got, went crazy collecting them off eBay a few years ago, which was a good thing because they've really jumped up in price <laughs> since I started. So uh, let's see, anything else before we adjourn to the river? To make to actually show you using this thing well one thing I am looking at I thought of a uh, looking for a better system to, to, to carry my little coffee set instead of this bag uh, which is nothing wrong with a nylon bag uh, I am looking at another system I ordered from eBay uh, yesterday it's going to be in next week and uh, when I get that that kit if it works out then I'll uh, do a, a video on that kit so just a side note, something to look, coming attractions. So, uh, I think that's it. And, uh, can't anything else to, to talk on. It's probably drug on long enough. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we'll, uh, well, well, I guess if you can quit here, I'll see you next time. If not, I'll see you out on the river. And, uh, see you then. Okay, guys, I'm getting her all set up here, out here in the slough. Ah, huh. Some ducks out there, and uh, you probably can't see him, but there's a raccoon. <laughs> I looked up and saw that little masked face. <laughs> uh, this is great. Anyway, yeah, I got the... Uh, I just need to add the water, fire it up, then add the coffee to the coffee pot, and uh, we'll be ready to go. We got the little bag down. There's my sandwich down here. And we've got a bag with all the extra stuff that, oops, I guess I should show you. <laughs> all the extra stuff that uh, I don't need, keep it organized in the boat. So I'll turn this off while I uh, drag my uh, Pathfinder bottle kit with my water to uh, get the water in the jet boil. Okay, I got the jet boil fired up. Probably hear it roaring in the background. Got my coffee and a medicine bottle. I got it measured out for two two cups and but uh, I'll tell you what uh, 
doing this out of the boat is a real balancing act and, and also the management of all the stuff in, in the boat. We're moving it all around. So uh, anyway, I do have a uh, got a little towel here that I'm going to put over my leg because you know how life is. I don't want to spoil show that. I don't want to, you know, accidentally spill scalding water on my leg. This one not a lot. Just have to be very careful, but uh, so far so good. Now yeah, let's start the steam, so I'll probably have a boil here in a minute, and then I'll uh, start the press. Yeah, it looks like it's ready to go. Yeah, you can, you can tell there's the uh, the heat the heat marker on the jet boil. It's, it's red. Yeah, they're, they don't lie. This sucker boils two cups of water <laughs> very fast, so there was no waiting, which is good because I'm needing my coffee. <laughs> Usually, I make my coffee at home, and I've already had it by the time I, or a couple of sips by the time I get here. Oh, by the way, slow pan. Eh, a couple of visitors today. <laughs> a mom and her three, uh, well, they're almost uh, adult size. Yeah, I hear you. I think she's looking for a handout. I've seen her. She comes out here before. They're not very, obviously, they're not afraid of. <laughs> Mallards are pretty tolerant of people, so. Anyway, my water's boiling. I gotta get my coffee on, so I'll turn this off for a bit. Okay, I got the French press set up, just waiting for it to steep, and then I'll uh, squish down the grounds. And uh, yeah, this is kind of an awkward video trying to handhold uh, the camera from the boat. It'd be nice if I had a tripod, but I don't know how I'd set that up. This is a pretty small space. Like I said, I've I have. Uh, you know, had breakfast in the canoe, but that's much easier because I usually have a little table between the thwarts. So this is uh, it's a new challenge, but yeah, it's it's good and stable. I got that, so I don't have to worry about you know. I can rock a little bit. That's not going to go anywhere, but I stay pretty steady anyway. So, but uh, there you go. I'm all ready to uh, have my breakfast here on the water can't beat that i'm real happy with the jet boil it's uh, worked like i figured it would so uh can't think of anything else especially since i've had any coffee yet my brain is only firing on half the cylinders so anyway hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you next time bye bye mm -hmm.